You will not accept this. It was your doing, yours. And now you would refuse to accept the consequences? Accept it? How could you expect me to accept it? Lon takes the fall? While I cower in my fake world? I mean, this is my fault as much as it is his. He shouldn't have to pay my share. Who do I tell I'm sorry? Our mom and dad? Then I will ask you again. Will you? Or will you not accept the consequences? I will not! Not these! Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives. And give you a chance to continue your tale differently. And weave the threads of time anew. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Life sacrifice acknowledged. Now time shall be threaded anew. Bong. Bong. Postscript. Turn those corners up. Huh? All right. Let's kick some Baja butt and give this world a saving it won't forget. After all, if we really did cause all of this mess, it's about time that we settled up. Wait! What? What's gotten into you? Just wait. Where's... Tama? Tama? What's that? Our... friend. Very well. I shall yield to you all mine of my precious lives. And give you a chance to continue your tale differently. And weave the threads of time anew. No way! Was that her back there? That was Tama? Uh, hey, Lon! You really don't know who I mean? Tama's our friend! This whole journey, she's been by our side! What? I have no idea what you're saying. What is wrong with you? You're acting so weird. Well, I've never seen her behave like this. Usually Lon's the one who acts like he got punched in the back of the head. Uh, Seraphie? But you... you can't be here. Huh? What? Why would you freak out about Seraphie? Come on, she's the one who's been by our side. Seriously, do you want to rest a sec? Seraphie, you know her. You love Tama. Someone named Tama? Wait, I think I've got it. Could it be short for... Tama Mohime? I have no idea where you might have heard the name. It sure does take me back to the old days. All right. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going up there to kick some Baja butt. No! Huh? <laughs> Careful. Tama gave her lives for this chance. It's a new timeline. I can't waste it. We're not ready to do this. But... Why not? Lon, think about it. Why did we come here in the first place? You remember? What did we say we were gonna do? What is this, a pop quiz? Answer the question. Well, if you mean the first reason, um, and a crow told us that if we got back all of the mirages we lost, then we might regain our memories and maybe meet our family, right? That's right. Taking down the Federation? That wasn't in the plan. Well, of course it wasn't. We didn't even know they existed yet. And anyway, you and me are the ones who brought those Cogna things into Grimoire. It's our mess to clean up. Even if it means fighting Mom and Dad? And having to sacrifice your life in the end? Dude, what? You really have lost it. Lon! 
defeating those guys? It won't save the world. No good will come of it. What happens to us? To you? Would you stop getting so worked up? You're not making any sense. The Cogna. We'll stop them. Huh? Well, yeah, we can do that too, but since we're here, let's fight these guys. I told you that won't work. It's pointless. First, we need to close the portal. Which means collecting more mirages, more getting stronger... ...and more owning up to what we've done. Hello? Rain? Mom... Dad... <laughs> we have to straighten things out with Wen too. And then... Okay... I think it's time that we'll we... Gather mirages, get stronger, and close that portal! You can kick their butts after we do all that. Hold your chocobos. Don't forget, people are losing their souls. Yes, so let's hurry. Mirage collecting and the portal. Oh, and we have to call Wind back from the castle. Hey, Seraphie, do you know anything about that mirage that Wind summons? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. That'd be none other than Siren. She comes from the same world of Wind Pixies that I do. You and her are both from the same world? Well... Then can you contact her and see if she's with Wynn? As long as she's somewhere in Grimoire, then I'd say it's doable. Great. Would you? Okity dokity. Be back in a micro mega flash. Oh, wait! Also, tell her we're sorry for what we did, trapping her for so long, will you? I know that sorry's not enough, but. Yeah, yeah. You're the boss, boss. Rain, what's up? You know something. I'll try to explain. But on the way, we're going to Belong Garden. Hey, let's go wait on the deck. one thing. This time, do you remember? What you two were like? And the terrible things you did? Yes. A lot of it, anyway. But we're ready. We're going to collect our mirages and face all of our mistakes head on. <sighs> Alright then. So why did you call me back? If we have the final showdown now, our fam... You and us won't make it. It's not gonna be the outcome that we're hoping for. You don't know that. It hasn't even- I do know! Look. I was there. Please. Don't fight the Heralds yet. Help us save Grimoire first. We could really, really use your help. Do you have a plan? We're going to use the portal. The Ultima Gate? What do you want with that? If you're thinking about opening it again... No, it would never work without you, Wynn. Well, actually, we need all of the summoners for it to work. Lan is right. Summoners have the power to bring mirages from other worlds into this one. Basically, they create a bridge between two worlds. But so can you. In fact, the power is stronger in Mirage Keepers. Don't look at me. I'm just regurgitating all the stuff that Rain told me she remembers now. A Mirage Keeper's powers... They're not like those of a summoner's. We trap mirages, using miniature worlds that are created by real architects, like our father. And once they're confined, we can release them. And at that point, they're ours to command at will. But to pull that off, you need to bend the rules. And only breakers like our mother can do that. Is that true? So then, your parents' talents, they became yours. To wield any mirage? Yes. And there's more to it. Breakers can extract power from any of their mirages, and then add it to their own. So the more we find, the stronger me and Rain can make ourselves. 
we didn't give it much thought when we were collecting them back then, but... In fact, we stole our mom's power along with her mirages. Wait. If you can't... If Keepers can't actually connect two worlds... Yeah. When I summoned Brandalis, I, uh... I sort of had to borrow your powers, Wynne. I used the crystal cage. That explains it. I could feel it, too. It's like the cage. It was drawing the strength right out of me. And while I was trapped in there, the Heralds could draw on my power. And even poses me. Wait a minute. Then, did they? Yes. They slowly deceived the world with the Crimson Prophecy, so that Lon would restore the gate. And by gathering up the other summoners, again, they managed to create a bridge. Right. That explains a lot of things. Okay. So going back. The Ultimate Gate. Why do you need it? It's too late to destroy it. We know. Even if we do, or take out Brandalis, then we're still stuck with a world full of Cogno we can't get rid of. So, we'll reverse it. What? Right. We hope, if we reverse the flow... It'll send the Cogna and Heralds back where they came from. So please, if you and the Summoners help us, we can do this, Alwyn. I... Uh... I know that after all we've done, we don't have any right to ask this. But... I'll do it. Huh? Honestly, I'm not so sure about your plan. It might work like you say. And then again, it might not. But I feel like it's something worth trying. Still. Yes. They'll come after us if they catch on. It's more than that. The Heralds are using your parents- I know that. But you can trust me. Trust us to take care of it. <sighs> okay. When you feel you're ready, say the word. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wyn. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. You can call me Wyn. <laughs> it feels too strange, Alwyn, coming from you two. Uh... <sighs> hey. Maybe there's a chance. This arm's gonna bring the world some joy. I know it. FYI, if you're looking for some more mirages, don't forget which pixies rock in the old rumor radar. Mart.
Hey, Lon, do you remember the Pleiad? The Pleiad? What's a Pleiad? I'm still a little hazy on the details myself, but... Remember how it seemed like Ifrit and Shiva and Ramu seemed to recognize us? I remember them mentioning something like that. I think there were more mirages like that. Seven of them. Oh, I get it. Is that what Pleiad means then? Pleiad. But yes. So I think that might mean there are four other powerful mirages we knew besides Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu. Huh, no kidding. Well, considering how tough that trio is, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get the rest of them on our side. Yep, my thoughts exactly. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something strange? Huh? Like what? Am I correct that you're in charge of controlling the gates and managing our prismariums now? What do you mean now? Please. You know full well that this pixie has always been in charge of both. I can't carry the bruising case everywhere we go, but we can access it from safe locations. And you're the one who returns us to Ninewood Hills when we fall in battle? Huh? Well, yeah, sort of. I have to use the return crystal Anna Crow gave me, which unfortunately means we have to come back to Ninewood Hills every time. Hold on a second. This is strange. What's with the sudden barrage of questions? Oh, I guess I just like to go over things now and then. Huh? You serious? I guess that means most of what I know about Tama applies to Seraphie in this timeline. As long as I remember that, I should be able to play along. There was some girl here the other day looking for you two. I didn't recognize her, but she was holding a teacup? Anyway, she said you two have been given the power to touch the souls of many, so you should stop by and visit her at your earliest convenience. Oh, but, uh, sorry, she didn't leave an address. Here, help yourselves. What? Mirages? Do you always strut around with mirages on your head? Wow, I was wondering what that creepy crawly feeling was. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good fight. Oh, wait! 